Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this video, we're gonna be talking about security gateway installation. So we're gonna be installing Checkpoint Security Gateway. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are returning, let's have some fun. All right, so I did install the firewall already. You guys walked through that. And I wanna show you some uh, some settings that I had to do and I'm going to add upon our lab. So if we go to machine settings, I'll bring this up here. So if we go to system, you know, I have 16 gigs associated with this virtual machine, two CPUs, and then let's go to the network. So my first network interface card is host only. And I have a Windows 11 machine here that we're going to be getting into shortly. And then the rest of the network interface cards are not attached to anything, but I did have them enabled. So it's the same exact process. You install the operating system and you go through the prompts and set everything up how, you know, we normally set it up in the last lab. Okay. So if we come in here, I can just do show interfaces, show interface ETH zero in my case. And you can see that it's at Right here, 192 uh, 10.2.21.1. And now let's go ahead and configure everything, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is logging into our system and then go and configure it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me open up my command prompt. And my Windows 11 machine is on the same network. So it's on that host only network. And I assigned 10.2.21.10 to this machine. So I can ping dot one, which is over here. Okay, so everything is in our own virtual environment. So now let's open up a browser. Let's browse out to it. HTTPS 10 dot, what is it? 2.21.1. And we should come up with this. And then we can just go ahead and hit advance, continue. And this is going to be our firewall. And we're gonna log in with the same exact credentials that we set up when we did the initial setup. So in my case, it's admin and fancy password. Okay. And once this comes up, you should see something like this. We're running R8010 for the first time configuration. The platform is open server. So let's go ahead and click on next. We're gonna go ahead and configure with R81 configuration. That's fine for me. And ETH zero, obviously you can change this, whatever IP address you wanna use, you can follow along and use the same exact IP scheme, or you can do your own, it's up to you. So we can go ahead and click on next here and be a little patient, I guess. All right, so interface ETH zero, uh, ETH one, we have ETH two and ETH three, obviously we don't have any configuration at the moment for those, so we can skip those for now. So let's go ahead and hit next. And as far as my host name, so if you see on the left-hand side here, GW underscore 22 D115, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna make this uh, checkpoint CP security gateway dash FW1, okay? So that's fine with me. I don't have any DNS names at the moment. So let's go ahead and do that. And I want to change this. We're going to end up using maybe NTP in the future, but let me go ahead and correct this at least in, you know, until we do that. And we are on New York time. Let's see if I can just put New York. All right, New York, America. That's perfectly fine for me. And let's go ahead and click on next here. All right, so we're going to do security gateway and or security management. And here is where the main difference is here. In this video, we're just doing security gateway. So we're gonna take off the security management before we did the whole standalone. And then once we're done here, we can go ahead and click on next. And right now we're not using a uh, dynamic IP address. So we can go ahead and click on no, leave it as no and hit next. Any activation key or the sick. So what we're gonna do is set up a password or a key here that you need to remember. So I'm gonna just put my fancy password that I use for everything for my labs, okay? 
And you can leave this blank for now because we're not going to be connecting to anything at the moment. Click on next and we don't have to send any data checkpoint. That's fine. Click on re uh, next or finish. This will need to start. Okay. Yes. We want to proceed. And once this is done proceeding, we'll have the login screen to log in. It's very, very straightforward. And I was going to do the whole installation process with you guys, but I figured it's the same exact thing. I don't want to repeat myself and walk through the same process that we did in the last video. So it's the same exact thing. Just make some modifications. So just add another firewall to your environment and just make the, the changes with the Ford Nix. And I want to go ahead and while this is hooking, I want to go ahead and show you a picture of our um, the picture that I'm going to be using. You can follow along or whatnot. Let me save this picture. Um, I'm just going to put checkpoint network. So I'm going to have something like this. Let's see. Let me open up this pictures. Look at my pretty face. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so this is what we're doing, right? We have our LAN on the bottom left, which is 10.2.21.10, which is my Windows 11. This main machine right here, this main firewall, 10.2.21.1 slash 24 at ETH zero. So we have ETH one, ETH two, ETH three. We're gonna be utilizing these for further videos, right? We have going out to the internet at 172.18.72.2. And then we're gonna have a DMZ and a server farm just like the real the real world how you would have your segmentations of your network but we're going to build on top of this okay so in the middle here we have our bad boy and then you know our checkpoint firewall on the lan and then all that good stuff so stay tuned uh, on building all this stuff out so let's go ahead and uh go ahead and hit okay here so you see on the left hand side here we are rebooting. And another little thing that I, I, I did, um, from the other videos, I was running, running that on my local desktop, which is a beast, uh, Threadripper, 128 gigs of RAM. It's a killer machine. But I found that Checkpoint doesn't like AMD. So I, I installed it on a laptop here. So I'm remoted into this laptop and it's sitting right next to me. Just to give you guys a little uh, behind the scenes of how I have my stuff configured and set up. So on this laptop, let's look at the specs here. I just wanna show you guys the specs on my laptop here. So I have 64 gigs of RAM on my laptop. It's an i7, uh, 1.8 gigahertz. So, and if we look while that's cooking, we can look at the task manager as well. Performance. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. So yeah, 64 gigs of RAM. And this is, you can do this with 32, but obviously the more the merrier. And I am running this off of a USB drive, right? So, cause I want to build on this lab and I don't have obviously an SSD. I don't have a lot of space on my SSD card um, in, in this machine. So I figured I have to set up this on a USB. So if you don't have enough space on your actual laptop, desktop, or whatever, you can always plug in a external drive and put the VMs on it. Obviously, it's going to run a little slower. You know, that's, that's just the name of the game, but you can do it. And if you see here, if I go to InfoSec Pat 1 terabyte, my VMs are sitting right here. So, yeah. Just wanted to give you a little a little behind the scenes. So we'll let this cook and see how long this thing takes to boot. And uh, yeah, it's not as long as as the AMD. Like on my AMD, look, it's already started. It took an forever. Like you've seen it. Like my first couple of videos was on my local machine, and it took forever. But all right, cool. So now let's try to log back in. And then see that that was a lot quicker. I didn't have to, you know, stop the video, start the video, blah, blah, blah with the video. All right. So same kind of setup. You know, we have the network management here. We have system management and we're going to be using this machine. So this is a security gateway config or installation. 
And we can, you know, go through all this HA maintenance, upgrade, all this good stuff. And we're gonna work on a few things on here. Like I said, we have a couple of ethernets. So this is it for this video. When the next video comes, we'll continue the journey of the checkpoint firewalls. So one other thing before I let you guys go, if you guys want to get like, let me go out to the internet really quick and show you guys something. Let's go out to Google checkpoint CCSA. Okay, so there is a certification called Checkpoint Security Administrator. So these, these videos, uh, let's go ahead and come down. Uh, certifications. Let me make this a little bigger maybe. So Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator. This exam you can take and let's go ahead and go and come down here. And let's go to the training sheet. So let's make this bigger. I just wanted to bring this up just because I think it's informative. Excuse me. So the CCSA. I would think this is just equivalent to like the checkpoint, excuse me, the Sonic Wall certification, maybe like a CCNA security, something that's typically for the firewalls. So you can see like the audience, technical professionals, goals to learn the basic concepts and develop skills to administer the IT security fundamentals of the checkpoint firewall. And some prereq, the, the, some prereqs is like Windows, Unix, network technologies, the internet. Obviously, you should know how to get on the internet and some of the TCP IP stack, okay? So some of the objectives are here, some of the exercises, and you can just go right out to, to Checkpoint and check this out for yourself. And this is exactly what I did. I looked at the, you know, the objectives, some of the exercises, and I made my own little, you know, jotted down my own little list so I can go over and I may take this exam myself. So as I'm studying for it or making these videos, I'm putting it out there as well as studying after I turn the camera off, I go in and I tinker with stuff and I take a snapshot, I break things and I, you know, I try to learn as much as I can. Um, obviously this is for anyone that wants to learn Checkpoint. Maybe you're using Checkpoint in your current environment and you just wanna learn more about you know, how things work or just get curious. Or if you want to set this up to, to put this in between your Kali machine and a Windows machine, and maybe you could try to, you know, get by your firewall controls. There's so many different things you can use. I actually used to do that a lot with PFSense. But yeah, but this is for Checkpoint. So I really appreciate you guys checking this out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the, uh, in the, in the comments below. And until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you so much.